Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. On today's video, I will teach you how to make this men's bag, a beautiful men's bag. And women can also use it. You can use it for lunch bag, you can use it for handbag. Now let's go ahead. Please, first of all, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so by hitting on subscribe button and also hit on the notification bell. Each time we upload a new video, you will be notified. Please share this video for me. Share this video to all your friends, all your neighbors. Thanks so much for watching. Now, let's go ahead. I will show you how to sew it, both the measurement and the sewing aspect of it. On the same part, it will have only part A, the measurement and the way I sew the bag. I will show you everything here today. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, Measure this bag, cut out the patterns, everything about the bag, and both the sewing. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then share this video for me. Hit on the notification bell so each time you upload a new video, you will be notified. Thanks so much for all my returning subscribers. And to all my newly subscribers, I say a very big welcome to you. Thanks for stopping by. Now let's go ahead for this bag. These are the material that we'll be needing for this bag. This is the handle for the bag, the zip, the D ring, and you see the magic gum, then the leather, the lining, and every other thing is in this bag. Now let me go ahead and show you the measurement for this bag. And for the flap and the back of the bag will be eight by 16.5 inch this is for the front side of the back and it is 8 by 8.5 inch and this is the back the back and the flap comes together and this one will be on top of the flap here it will be this way and this is the downward side of the back for the back this is the front side and i'll use this one now for the lining and this is the round for the back and this is for the zip for this bag now i will show you how i measure the zip and the round body of this bag if you want to measure the zip and the round body for this bag you will measure this place now that is 8.5 inch and you see this is 8.5 inch and this is 8 inch now you subtract three inch from here this is eight inch abby now this place is you subtract three inch here then you subtract three inch here making it six inch three inch and three inch this side will be six inch and this side is eight inch you add that three inch plus this three inch that is six plus eight inch and it will be 14 inch so for the zip it will be 14 inch so let's measure the zip now for the zip that will be 14 inch here and you see this is 14 inch for the zip then coming down to this side now this side that is remaining will be for the round body the both the base and the two sides here so the base now is 8 inch then this side that is 8.5 inch you subtract that 8.5 inch from the 3 inch that you have removed that is the zip the remaining one will be 5.5 inch so this side will be 5.5 inch and this side is 5.5 inch it adding two of them together it will give you 11 inch so 11 inch plus the 8 inch this side that will be giving you 19 inch for that 19 inch now you add it 1 inch making it 20 inch so down here will be 20 inch and the upper here will be 14 inch for the zip that is for the measurement then coming for the zip you divide this one into two because i make it 3 by 14 inch will be for the zip so you divide it into two now it will give you 1.5 inch 1.5 inch this side there will be the zip will be at the middle of this one then for the round body you will not divide it because it's 3 inch by 20 inch so let's go ahead and sew this back together so now coming to this side that will be both the base and the flap i will join this leather here do need this leather here now? I need to sew it this place now. So need this place, then I'll turn it and cover here. That will be for the flap. 
So let me go ahead. First of all, I'll put it the measurement here. I'll give like 0 0.5 inch. It will be more than 0 0.5 inch for this one now here. Then I will turn it this way. Then I will sew here. After sewing it here, I will turn it again. Just watch me as I sew this place now. After turning it this way now, I will turn it this way also. I will turn it this way. Then I will sew it again. So this one will be for the upper side that will be the flap for the back. Then, here, then I will sew this one. I will sew it round this way. After adding sewing that one now, I will add this one here also. I'll add it this way here. This is the front side for the back. So I'll add this magic gum here. I made it like three inch up here. I will then I added it at the middle of this one here. So after this one now, uh, this bag will look like this way after sewing it. It will be this way now. Can you see? It will be this way. So after this one now, uh, the next one I will do is to sew the zip. I will sew the zip. Don't mind me, I'm not using lining here. If you want to use lining for your own, you can just do it. I don't want to use lining for this uh, leather. Just my choice, so you can use lining on your own. So I will sew straight here for the zip. So after sewing the zip, this is the way it will look like. Adding the two sides of the zip, then you put the zip head. Then the next thing I will do now is to add the handle here. It will be one sided handle, then I'll add the other rope this side without putting this zero in here. So let me sew this one here. Sewing 
this one now i'll add this one then i'll sew it straight After sewing it, I'll still turn it this way, I'll sew it again. Then it will be this way after sewing it. Then this is the front side of this bag, and I want to give it a shape like a cup shape here. Yeah? So I'll cut this way. You can measure three inch, measure three inch up there. Then you cut it this way. And you see what I'm doing? I cut it this way. Then I'll place it this side. I'll cut this side too. Now, the next thing now is to add this, the round body of the bag, this side. I'll get the middle of the zip, only the zip. I'll get the middle of the zip this way. Then I'll get the middle of this one this way also. I'll get the middle of this. Then I will sew it with the zip. So this will be this way. I will measure this place and this here to be equal, then I'll cut the main one out. Making it to be equal this way. Then I'll sew this here. Then before then, I'll add the remaining handle. I will add this remaining handle here. And you see it. Then the next thing I'll do now is to add it on this side getting the middle of this one here now i'll get the middle of this one then i'll get the middle of this one also here so after sewing this one the next thing i will do is to add the lining i told you i'm using this leather for the lining i will sew the lining together with this one so let me go ahead and sew the lining together with it Then coming here now, I will sew this one together with this. So what I will do now is to get the middle of this side and the middle of this together this way. I will get it together this way, then I will sew it. Let me go ahead and sew this one. I'll sew this side round, remaining this place. So what I will do now is to fold it this way. I will turn it this way. Then I will sew it this way also. So 
after sewing this bag, this is how it will look like. It will look like this. After this, next thing I will do is to use this rope. I'll use this rope now and I'll cover it round. Let's go ahead and cover it this way. We are coming to the end of this bag. And this bag is a nice bag. Please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please, I'm begging you all, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, share the video, like the video. I want to hear from the comment section your question, I will answer you very well. Anything at all, I will answer you. Also, hit on the notification bell, so each time we upload a new video, you will be notified. Thanks so much once again for all my returning subscribers. And to all my newly subscribers, I say a very big welcome to you. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let's continue. I'm adding the rope on the side of this bag. I'm add it, I'll add it round at the back and the flap for the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Now, as you see, I'll cover it this way.